Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is One Skill and welcome to this video. It's been a long time since my last video and I'm really happy that I have found some time to share amazing new concept. What I call these simple looking blocks is I call them power blocks. <laughs> And they're really powerful because you can create amazing stuff with these uh, simple rectangles. Out of these simple rectangles I will show you in this video that you can make this kind of stuff. Let me show you on full screen. Out of those simple rectangles you can create cool looking menu buttons with filled with solid color. You can fill them with transparent color. Or you can make a beautiful portfolio for your photos. So as you can see these power blocks as I call them are pretty powerful because you can create any cool layout that you want. And you might be wondering where I got this inspiration for these power blocks. So for example, on pickmonkey.com you can create collages from your photos that you have. And it's pretty awesome, you know, you can mix up your photos, you can have different sizes for your blocks and you can create amazing designs. Or for example, you can Google and just type in masonry grid example and, and you will find many beautiful examples of these uh, blocks in action and they're pretty widely used in website design but today we want to create this awesomeness on powerpoint and i call them power blocks so let's stick with <laughs> power blocks okay so there will be five steps as you can see first we just draw these blocks then I remove the outlines, then we add some spacing between the blocks. Uh, then we unify some of the blocks so that we can create some of them uh, larger than the rest of them. Then we add text to those blocks, then we add the uh, background. Then we make some of these blocks or all of them a little bit transparent so we can see the background. And we just, I'll just show you another uh, use of these power blocks you can just add photos and show off your beautiful photography skills in this case I just took some photos for some for un, from Unsplash and <laughs> these are not my photos they're free from Unsplash so just go to Unsplash and check them out so let's just create a new PowerPoint document so we can start from scratch blank layout so let me just copy this step one. Okie dokie. So the first step is just to draw rectangles. So it should be pretty easy, yes. <laughs> just go to insert, choose shapes, rectangle, hold down the shift key and draw a nice looking rectangle. Let's just make sure it's a round number, like 4 centimeters height and width. And yeah, let's make the outline a little bit fatter so that we can see the outline, something like this. And now let's just duplicate with Ctrl D a couple of times so that we have um, 4 rectangles in a row. Let's select all of them, Ctrl D again so that we have a second row and Ctrl D once more. And you can create as many rectangles as you want, depends on what kind of layout you're trying to achieve and for this tutorial those three, four on three I guess will be enough. Let me just group all of these rectangles so that I can align them to center. And now let me just ungroup them. Now let's go to step number two. On step number two, let's just check the original. Step number two, I removed all of the outlines 
because uh, we don't need the outlines anymore. It was more of the guidance to you know, adjust all of them. But now that we have all of them in place, we can remove these outlines. Go to Format, Outline and No Outline. Okay, let's duplicate the slide and now we're on step 3. So what do we have to do on step 3? So on step 3 as you can see I have added some spacing between the blocks. And actually it's, a, it's your choice of design how you want your blocks to look. You might not add any spacing at all so you would just you would just skip the step but in case you want to add some spacing so what you have to do is you have to select all of your blocks press down the control and shift key and press your left key a few times for example four times one two three four so this was arrow to the left and now press four times arrow down one two three four so this uh, this makes some spacing between the blocks as you can see <laughs> okay that's beautiful okay so now we're on step four on step four as you can see I have uh, united some of the blocks so again, this is a decision you have to make on your own. How do you want your layout to look? And I have decided to join these top three blocks and these three bottom blocks. And the easiest way to do it, at least for me, first of all, let me just change the color so you can see it better. So let's delete these middle two blocks and just grab this one and just extend it pretty easy at the bottom we do the same procedure delete these two bottom rectangles and one cool tip if you want to make this block to have the same color this as this element so select this one and just press down ctrl shift and c so copy the style and now select this block press down ctrl shift and v and it will paste uh, this color useful and let's drag it so we have something like this so uh, let's go to step number five and on step number five we just add text that we want to our blocks so you can type any text that you want you know, it can be the name of your slides, of, of the content that you want to present to your audience. Let's just set some beautiful font, a font size. Yeah, it can be, you know, something about... Oops. Just double click to add text. Now you can write something about me bunch of products your you know happy clients or your Facebook page and you know and so on any text that that you want so this is just step five is just basically adding text to to the blocks that you have so nothing too fancy so let's go to step six and on step six as you can see I have added a photo background and the easiest way for me and I hope for you as well to add a photo background would be to actually first of all go to slide master go to this layout that is uh, completely blank and let's just duplicate this layout let's give it a name full photo insert uh, click insert place placeholder insert picture 
and just stretch this placeholder so that it covers the whole slide. Okay, close master. And what this will do now, it will allow us to go to layouts. So just right click on this slide six layout and choose this full photo that we have just created. And as you can see, this uh, image placeholder pops up and in the center of the slide, you'll get this picture button. So just click it and just go to the folder where you have your photos. I have downloaded some of the photos from Unsplash. And let's choose, for example, this photo. And boom, you have a photo that nicely covers the whole slide. Just don't forget to send it to back so that you can see your menu or your power blocks as I call them. <laughs> okay, let's go to step number seven. Let me just make it a text color white so you can see better what we're doing here as well. Okay. And step seven, as you can see, I made these uh, power blocks a little bit transparent. So again, this is a choice of design. I'll just demonstrate to you how you can do it. So select one of the blocks, go to format, shape fill, more fill colors, and set the transparency. You can experiment, for example, 40%, boom, and you can see becomes a little bit transparent and you can copy the style as I told you before Control shift C select the other block and press Control shift V and this way you can make your blocks transparent so these blue guys as well so maybe 30% Control shift C I select all of them and Control shift V I paste the style. So I have transparent, almost transparent blocks. Okay. Now we'll go to step step eight. And what we had on step eight. So on step eight I made menu buttons which have a background of photos so basically let's get back to, to this uh, our presentation so what I did I did the same placeholder technique as I did with the background I made placeholders for each of these uh, power blocks and let me just demonstrate to you how to do it so first of all let's select all of these um, blocks Control X X to cut them. Uh, we can delete this background for now. Go to Slide Master. So uh, let's duplicate this layout. So this was the layout that we named it uh, Full Photo. So duplicate it and let's paste our power blocks and now what we have to do we just have to insert a bunch of uh, picture placeholders so you draw them so that they cover your power blocks okay uh, we can duplicate this one and put it over here just make sure that you align them with your power blocks so it looks looks all right so a few more placeholders. Okay, so Ctrl D to duplicate. just send all of these uh, placeholders to back so that we can uh, delete 
all of the power blocks. We don't need power blocks, it was just for reference to make these uh, picture placeholders. So hurry! Close master view. And now let's just... Uh, oh, I guess we forgot to give a proper name to this layout. So let's just call this layout uh, Power Blocks. Okay. So choose the layout Power Blocks and boom! <laughs> As you can see, we have a bunch of uh, bunch of possibilities to add beautiful photos. So first of all, let's add a background for this whole uh, slide. Send it to back, and now let's. And now all you have to do is just click on these uh, icons and you can insert pictures. So I'll go a little bit faster over here because it's just a repetitive process. And one more thing, uh, you might want to adjust how your photo looks in this uh, placeholder. So it's pretty easy to do, you can just uh, click on the power block that you want to adjust the photo and select crop. And now you can drag the photo to make it larger. And you can position your photo uh, the way you want it to look, for example, you know, might want it to look something like this okay so when you're happy just press crop again and you'll have your position set for example you want to make this small uh, human figure you know, a little bit zoomed in <laughs> can adjust it and boom here you have it So, yeah, let's check it out on the full screen, and here you go, you have just learned how to create a beautiful looking power block menu or a photo portfolio. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and in case you have any question, please don't hesitate to Write your questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful week. See you.